Well, greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to a new week of Brian's Bible break as we continue on our journey through the Psalms. This morning we're in Psalm 86 and reading from verse 11 in the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day and we're so grateful for the opportunity to come into your holy presence to, uh, to rest, to reflect on your word, to listen for your still small voice speaking to us. And so, God, we pray that you would quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of Jesus Christ, in whose precious name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> so, Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. This Psalm of David's sounds a little bit like Psalm 51 in, in this verse. But it is a psalm that, that acknowledges the, the difficulties and the challenges of life, certainly his life, and how evil doers were pursuing him. And it acknowledges that God is his protector. God is the one who, who gives him life, the one who is, in, is the one whom he is seeking with his whole heart. And David truly wants to be in a right relationship with God. He wants his life to honor God. And so he prays, teach me your ways, O Lord that I may live according to your truth. In other words, David wants to know what it means to be a faithful follower of God, living according to his truth. And so he's crying out to God that, that, that God will teach him, that God will grant him the wisdom and the knowledge of the truth. And he is sincere in, in his prayer. He truly wants to live a life that honors God, that is, that is lived according to God's will. That David it would be living in a way that, that is pleasing and acceptable to God. And so he says, teach me. In other words, David is acknowledging that he doesn't know entirely how to walk humbly with God, how to walk according to God's ways. And so he's humbling himself before God and says, God, teach me your ways. Teach me your truth. And there's no arrogance in that. There's that acknowledgement that, that God is worthy of our praise. God is the one who knows all, sees all, and is in all. And David wants to be have a, a part in that. He wants to be one with God. And so he prays, teach me, O Lord. Teach me your ways that I may live according to your truth. David's prayer is that when people look at him, they will see God. And that's a, a wonderful prayer for us to offer to God as well. That when they look at us, when they see us, they see Christ in us. When they hear the words we speak, they're hearing the words of Jesus not our own. And that's not to suggest that we are perfect, that every word that proceeds from our mouth is, is perfect. It's not. But we can ask God to help us, to teach us His ways, that we may live according to to his truth, that we may speak his word of truth. 
He says, grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. David wants a clean heart, a pure heart, so that he can honor God. It's not for his own benefit or for his own glory or to so that he can lord it over others. His only motivation, his only desire is so that he can honor God with his life, with his heart, with his soul. And so, friends, this beautiful prayer in this verse that David offers is a wonderful prayer for us, too. That as we go about our day, we pray that the Lord will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his truth. And that he will give us a pure heart so that we may honor him. Will you make that your prayer today, friends? And ask God to help you so that he may be glorified and the name of Jesus may be lifted on high. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you for your servant, David, who demonstrated what it means to have a heart that is seeking after yours. A heart that desires to be one with you. A heart that honors you. Lord, pour out your wisdom upon us that we may walk in your ways according to your truth. And Lord, purify us with the blood of the Lamb that you may receive all the glory and the honor due you through the, the way we live our lives, through the words we speak and the things we do. And Lord, we ask this in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures from Psalm 87 as we continue on our journey through the Psalms. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.